Where is Shankar Mishra? What exactly has transpired in the last uh, over a month or so? CNN News 18 has tracked Shankar Mishra, the accused in this particular case. We are at his alleged residence where the Delhi police had sent their teams in Mumbai as well. Take a look at this report my colleague Vinaya sent us. I believe Vinaya is live uh, with us from that particular location. And Vinaya, there were uh, several twists and turns in this particular case because we know there was a case uh, where uh, the Delhi police actually landed at a residence in Mumbai, but uh, they were given to understand that this particular accused does not stay there anymore, does not live there anymore. The address that he had given while booking the ticket was also not the right one, is what we're learning. Well, that was an incident that happened yesterday. In fact, the Delhi police team went to Mira Road in search of Shankar Mishra and uh, it was a case of a mistaken identity. It was believed that that was a separate address, a uh, wrong address that was given and that is why the Delhi police's team came to a grinding halt because they could not find Shankar Mishra there. Today though, let me tell you, we are here at Kamgar Nagar in Kurla. We haven't yet seen any police team reach here, but this is alleged the residence of S. Mishra. Let us try and walk you inside. Let us take you inside this complex. Uh, this is a kind of a bungalow here at uh, Kurla Kamgar uh, Nagar. Uh, as you can see, uh, this uh, four-wheeler which is here, uh, we tried to knock on the door as well, tried to see if someone could come out and answer uh, the doorbell. Uh, we try and do it again. Uh, there is nobody who responds. Uh, we waited for quite some time. In fact, neighbors confirmed that it is the Mishras who live here. Uh, some of the neighbors who also saw the photo of Shankar Mishra corroborated and confirmed that he does uh, stay here and he was seen moving in and out from here. Uh, but uh, they do not specifically have any details about the last time uh, they saw Shankar Mishra from here. Neither does anybody know if any of the family members are still here or whether uh, they have left uh, from this place. What we are also learning is that this is a big joint family which resides here. But as of now, let me tell you, there is a chase and hunt that is going on for Shankar Mishra. The Delhi police team uh, allegedly is in Mumbai in search of him yesterday. That search at Mira Road went cold after there was no response whatsoever. Today though there is no corroboration from the Mumbai police sources about whether there is going to be any movement here. As far as we can tell you, uh, here the door is completely locked. There is nobody who is opening the door. The windows are completely shut. There is another entry from the right side as my video journalist Nitin Sonavne is showing to you. Uh, but even that is completely shut. There is absolutely no access anywhere from here for within the house. This is the entire complex of the house. Uh, as of now, what we are learning though is that uh, Delhi police teams may be fanning out to different parts of the country uh, in search of uh, Shankar Mishra even as the FIR has been registered. We though are here at uh, Kurla at Kamgar Nagar uh, trying to find if anybody can answer the door here at the alleged Mishra's residence. Back to you. Right now, Vinaya, we also knew that uh, there's, uh, we also know in fact that there is uh, some connection perhaps to Lucknow as well. Uh, our other colleagues are also tracking this uh, development as far as this case goes because it has been over 40 days since the incident actually happened, though the FIR was registered only two days ago and a lookout notice has also now been issued against uh, Shankar Mishra. Well, yes, in fact, Delhi police sources have confirmed that a lookout notice has been issued and it's a matter of a procedure uh, that is being followed because remember Shankar Mishra uh, is somebody that the police teams are trying to look for and there is absolutely uh, no inkling about where uh, this person must be. His number is also continuously switched off. What we know is that his number was on till a few days ago and till five days ago he had put out a status update on his WhatsApp. Uh, giving out uh, some hints about what uh, his 
thoughts may have been at that particular point in time. Uh, what right now though is not clear is we also tried to find out if uh, Shankar Mishra could be found in his office. We went searching for his office, an international financial organization which has its office in Mumbai. Uh, we went to the registered address where we were told that uh, the office had moved location at least six months ago where thereafter we searched for the new address and went on the new address as well. There uh, the officials sitting there confirmed that that particular international financial organization did have its office in that premise on that floor till the 31st of December thereafter uh, they had withdrawn from there. So as of now even the workplace uh, seems to uh, have been uh, you know, we are not able to exactly trace where exactly the office is at this point in time since the last working day of that office of the organization from that office premise was the 31st of December. Right. Uh, but sources tell us that it's a work from home kind of a scenario. So uh, things may not change as much for the case per se. Uh, but Delhi police teams definitely trying to search for Shankar Mishra in various parts. The search in Mumbai doesn't seem to conclusively lead them anywhere with one uh, wrong lead yesterday and today the house being locked. Right, so for now that hunt continues. Do stay on with me. Anvit also with me on this broadcast. And Anvit, there are two angles to this, the two angles of investigation because it's not just uh, Shankar Mishra that is uh, the, that, that the Delhi police is looking out for. They're also questioning the crew that was on board uh, that particular flight because all of them have been named in the FIR uh, for being complicit in what exactly transpired. And we're given to understand about four to six crew members have been questioned as well. Yes, uh, six, uh, per, four persons have been questioned uh, till yesterday. Two of them have been called today. Uh, these two are the pilots of the flight. And uh, like you mentioned, uh, the complainant has uh, mentioned in the FIR that it was the crew, uh, despite uh, this woman uh, stressing upon that she wants a legal action to be initiated against this man. Uh, the crew it was who made this man sit with the woman uh, face to face and then tried to negotiate. Uh, she has said in, this, uh, in her FIR, that despite her uh, you know repeated request that she would want to report the matter to the police uh, it was not done so and uh, she uh, that uh, you know she uh, uh, the staff had asked her uh, that uh, what action should we want and despite that this negligence was noted now uh, as far as the crew is uh, concerned today the pilots have been asked why because this woman has also gone on to say in her uh, complaint that uh, she had requested for a different seat after the incident but the pilot it was who vetoed uh, the decision of providing her another seat what we are learning from the sources in air india and elsewhere is that uh, it was the decision decision was taken because the, there were four vacant seats in the flight which were dysfunctional at that time and therefore this decision was taken that those seats cannot be given to any passengers but police wants this uh, this to be put on record and therefore the pilots have been called to ask them why did they veto the decision of the not shifting the woman to another uh, seat? Uh, th this will be put on record in their statement. Other than that, the crew that had handled the situation, which was on board the flight, uh, the New York to Delhi flight, they have been questioned to establish what exactly had happened and what led to this incident. So therefore, uh, at least six to eight people in total have been summoned. Uh, four have been already questioned. The two pilots, their statement is expected to be uh, rec uh, recorded today because they have been summoned to join today. Uh, so far, uh, the details are that they had not reached till an hour back. Uh, we'll get more updates on this as soon as the developments unfold.